Okay guys, when I was flying the Spitfire last, I caught the wingtip. I just glued it on, but it hasn't glued very well and it's crushed underneath as well. So what I think I might do is to cut the tip off. I'll show you the underneath. Cut the tip off because it's um, crushed all the foam. Glue a block of balsa wood on there and shape it down and paint it up. Should be great. So let's get on with it. So I've marked a line uh, level. I was just going to take the end bit off here, but I don't think I will now because it's too badly crushed. So I'm going to take it back to there and then I'll make a recess on the balsa for the lighting cable and cut it across behind the plastic mold in here. So let's see if I can't just remove that bit of foam and not go through the wire. Cut across there. Hopefully you can see that. Nice clean cut. Turn it back. And we get to see what we're doing. Nice clean cut on the surface there anyway. So now I can see the thickness of the wood I've got to use. I've got some quarter, I've got some 3 16th, which I'll have to laminate. Uh, so I need two laminations and then when I've got that made I can route out a little groove uh, for the cable. So first of all let's just cut that to length. Let's use a bit of that. That's plenty. I'll just go straight down actually. Just make sure that that is what I need to, yeah, okay. <laughs> Although it's going to be tapered, it's really horrible. Look at that, it's all bashed and horrible. I can come back and mark for the rebate. When I've rebated it, I can stick it in place. So first job is to uh, glue this together, coming out. Oh, it'll be alright because it'll be cut off. Right. Bye. And I'll mark it for the rebate. And stick it in place. And then we can start shaping it down. Very nice. Just looking at the rudder chapsy because it's flipped over a couple of times and it's compressed the foam here, but also the hinge is starting to go there. Okay, let's just knife that rudder off. Put that on. I knocked it over. So let's just remove that all together. Oh, there you go. We'll clean that edge up and we'll use different hinges to put that back. Just replace the whole section there down to save that line down to there where the trim tab is. If I just mark it like this, just give me a rough idea on the cut. Down to So all you guys with foam built aeroplanes can see how easy they are to repair. So what I'll do, I'll salmonate, sandwich all that together and then cut that off at the correct place. Trim that to size, glue it on and shape it around. So I'm going to cut this right across that rib just there I think okay so that's the bit I'm replacing with balsa I 
think I'm going to have to sort of just eyeball this really. Right, so that goes on there, and I mark where the rebate has to go for the. So I just got a rebate to the balsa wood to the depth for that piece of wire. And for that, I'll probably use. Well, it's not worth getting the Dremel out, let's just knife it in. Don't want to put on too much because it's going to uh, be a bit of a devil to sand. But I want to put on enough to obviously fill any imperfections. And the tape will stick back over the top. Although I could use masking tape actually, but this will go back down. It'll be looks about right. And now glue it on there, trying to get the center line lined up with that center line. That looks quite good to my eye. I've made a little mirror to replace the one that got broken off. So I'll just piece apply a bit of um, carbon rod and a little bit of silver foil on one side. And that's going to stick up in that little hole there. And I'm going to fill the rest with epoxy. And Mr. Pilot can look back to see if there's any enemy behind him. I think it might have bonded. I need to turn that slightly. Okay, that looks pretty good. Yep, so what I'll do now, I'll mix some epoxy and I'll just run it in around here and it can fill that area up like that. I'm going to hold the cockpit, the plane back a bit so as it runs to the back of that. crumpled but it'll it'll do give me a shape and the inside of that goes a little bit thinner yet I think it's time to offer it up let's have a look let's bring the plane out shall we if I move it up a bit equal the gap up here you go be that there Nice crisp tail. Okay, next is the wingtip. Okay, okay. Sealed, oh, sealed the balsa wood. So now I've got to hinge this, push that in, pop that screw in, and we're about there.
I pulled the tape off, unfortunately. Right, we'll let that dry. We'll give it a second coat in an hour or two. Now it should dry matte, but if it doesn't, I can always give it a little a bit of a helping hand of the matte lacquer. <coughs> Let's put some brown on. That's quite nice. Looks quite nice. I think that'll do it, chaps. I think that will do. I've got to let this brown paint dry. And the green paint dry. And it should go reasonably matte. And that will be that. It should be ready to take the air yet again. Durafly Spitfire by the way, in case anyone's wondering. Oh, and I made that little mirror, didn't I? There you go. That fell off the first time I flew it. There we are. Thanks for checking in. Hit the little subscribe button down below and uh, I'll see you in the next video, whatever that may be. Cheers guys.